Hey guys, so I have another awesome sneaker review for you today, which some of you might not have even heard of. And it's perfect for the recent resurgence of the Nike SBs in sneaker culture. But before we get started, I gotta give a shout out to David Villarreal of the OGKicks.co for these sneakers. My cousin Craig Christian from Canada was the one that got me onto his Instagram page, and I've been following him for years now. He always has a wide variety of Nike SBs coming in, and watching his unboxing videos on his Instagram stories is one of my favorite things to do. He also sells these sneakers at all Awesome prices too. So be sure to check out his website and his Instagram page. If you are a big SB fan, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. Now I'm sure some of you have heard of the Nike Air Jordan 1 origin stories, which came out to promote the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse animated film, or even Donovan Mitchell's signature sneaker with Adidas, the D-O-N issue 1 Spider-Mans. But what if I told you that there was a shoe that came out way before these two sneakers that was inspired by our friendly neighborhood web slinger? So without further ado, let's jump right into my review, my first impressions, and my honest opinions on the Nike Mid Pro SB Spider-Man. So this sneaker released back in November of 2008 during the golden box age of Nike SBs. And really it's pretty obvious why these sneakers don the moniker of Spider-Mans. You've got the upper in red suede and blue leather. The smoothness of the leathers and the plushness of the suede give a great contrast of textures when holding the shoe in hand. The shoe comes in black fat laces with the Kevlar tips, typical of Nike SBs, but the shoe does also come with red laces as well. Underneath those laces you got the padded mesh tongue in blue with the red Nike SB tag stitched at the top. That tongue along with the padded sock liner feels great on foot because of the extra cushioning and comfort. That said sock liner matches the midsole in this bluish gray color. The midsole even has blue stitching in it which blends in great with the blues and the grays of the whole sneaker. Lastly you have the black Nike swooshes that go all the way around the heel and something different about the shoe compared to other Nike SBs is the addition of the velcro strap made of the same suede as the rest of the shoe with the letters SB embroidered at the end of it. This provides better lockdown and stability especially when skateboarding. As for fit, I think it would be safe to say that these fit true to size. I wear a size 12 in all of my shoes. The only time I ever go half or a whole size up is when I wear my Jordan 1s because I do have wide feet. But I do have to say that this specific shoe is pretty worn in. So it's safe to say that it has been broken into and which is why it probably fits me so well. So keep that in mind just in case you guys want to go for a Nike SB. Now for the part of the video where I give my first impressions and my honest opinions on the shoe. Starting off with the parts that I don't like. Which is honestly just this strap. It's really not that big of a deal to me. It's just something that I don't aesthetically like because I do understand the functionality of the strap especially during skating But I'm not a skateboarder. So technically I don't really need it It's just an extra step for me now to get in and out of the shoe And I don't know when I think about velcro straps I kind of think of kid shoes, but because this is a comic book character It kind of fits the profile then again, that's a whole other conversation So sticking to the shoe the strap is not for me But other than that, I really am happy that Nike SBs are coming back into the sneaker scene as I mentioned in my off white Nike SB review. Nike SBs definitely play a big part in the foundation of sneaker culture today. One thing I love about Nike SBs in general is that each colorway, each silhouette can be associated with a person, a place, a thing, a character, you name it. You got superhero SBs such as Iron Man, Batman, and Spider-Man. You've got dunks named after places such as London, Paris, Tokyo. Hell, you even have a mama, papa, and baby bear dunk. Anything you could possibly think of, it probably has a Nike SB or a dunk associated with it. And personally, as a sneakerhead, that's what I love about SBs. Because no matter what you like, there's definitely an SB or a dunk out there that fits your personality and style. I'm a big Marvel fan. I have my Iron Man dunks to represent that. And now I have the Spider-Man SBs to do it as well. And of course, it's not limited to SBs. You can definitely find a sneaker company, a silhouette, a style, a colorway to help represent you. And that's why I personally love sneakers. As for the spider Spider-Mans, I'm super happy that I have them in my collection now. Spider-Man is definitely one of the best superheroes out there, second to Iron Man in my opinion, and the urban city slicker youthful persona is embodied in such a timeless and classic silhouette. I'm also a fan of the Air Jordan 1 origin stories, besides the fact that it has a translucent midsole, and I love the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse animated film, but these SBs have such a great heritage to them, and they feel and look great on foot too. So for now, these definitely win best friendly neighborhood sneaker in my book. And that is it for this video. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the SB version of the Spider-Mans or are you guys leaning more towards the Air Jordan 1s or maybe even the Dawn Issue 1 versions of the Spider-Mans? 
Spider-Man. Let me know in the comments down below. I love conversing with you guys there. Follow me on Instagram at Albi Peralta. I post my sneakers there way earlier than I post them here on YouTube. I post what's going on in my life there. And I post stories almost every day. So do give me a follow. Leave a like on this video if you guys like it. That's what the like button's for. And check out my other videos on my channel. I have a bunch more there. More sneaker reviews. I got gameplay videos with my brothers. I got challenge vlogs, personal vlogs, travel vlogs, anything and everything in between will be on my channel. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye guys.